There you do. Don't move your RV till we get there. Don't move. Flipper <laughs> to the rescue. <laughs> Taking all the sunshine, bottle up the rain. Go where the wind blows, let it show the way. Open all the windows, let in all the light. You can pull the stars down, paint the perfect sky. So go and write your song. The world. Sing along. Oh, life's what you make it. Oh, it's yours for the taking. You can test the water, might as well jump in. We don't know where we end up, might as well be. Testing brakes in the mountains. There's not really a better place to test them, huh? That's for sure. I think you just turned my RV into a mobile home. Might have to sell that idea to Grand Designs for more storage. We just bought an extra, what, uh, cubic foot of uh, storage. Well, good morning from Deer Creek State Park in Utah. We're kind of outside of Provo. Gosh, beautiful state park. Time to get some more work done on the RV. We are getting an axle upgrade. They re-welded brand new hangers on the back axle and probably the coolest thing, disc brake upgrade with this. It's super cool and they came out right to our campsite and I've got Paul in and Casey here from Lippert. Thanks Lippert for coming out and taking care of this. Uh, Oh, that's going to be such a nice ride with those disc brakes. So is it a whole different brake controller as well? Or? No, I mean, everything works the same in your vehicle. It's okay. Just, it's just act, instead of activating the magnets on the brakes back here, it, it sends fluid instead. Okay. Instead of electricity, it becomes fluid. So I should notice a big difference when trying to stop this oh, thing, yes. right? <laughs> oh, yes. Because, yeah. It's going to stop. All, it, it's like you, you won't even know the trailer's behind you when you stop. Okay, yeah. Be, that would be great because sometimes you catch that yellow light at just the wrong time, and it's like, oh, man, this thing is... It's going to push you right through the intersection. Yeah. <laughs> ready to roll on a train track, right? <laughs> That's what it looks like. You're all done, right? <laughs> Wouldn't get anywhere quick now. Can you tell if it looks a little worn or they're in pretty good, not in too bad a shape? You would normally see this would start becoming egg shaped when they start wearing out. This one's a little bit, see it? Oh yeah. It's not perfect, it's got a little bit of wear. Just a little bit. Yeah, we- That one's a lot tighter. But yeah, they, they eventually start <coughs> wallering out a little bit just from going down the road, you know? Yeah. And yeah. those are greasable bolts too. I might just change these plates out and leave your bolts alone because you got, <clears throat> I can put new plates on them and just keep your bolts because you can lube those. You got brass bushings in here. And these are nice because they have a little shoulder on them. So they tighten up all the way, you know, it goes all the way tight. You can't over tighten them. It makes them for that, <clears throat> just a perfect amount of slop in them. They're supposed to be loose so they can move freely. I would guess we've got about, you know, 15,000 miles maybe. So my guess is they've probably got a 20, 20,000 life then. Oh, okay. We got a little plumbing that's kind of uh, 
Yeah, it's running right into it. Oh, wow. I can loosen that strap and let it drop down a little bit. Most everybody puts the bolts this way. Then they would never have that problem. The nuts go on the inside. <clears throat> and you never have that problem. So we'll, we'll flip these around so that they're easy. And so apparently they... Uh they put that pipe on after the... Oh yeah, axles are on first and plumbing's <laughs> on after. <laughs> okay. <laughs> they always, always try to teach these guys, you gotta think about serviceability down the road, you know? It's gonna come out. Just gonna stretch it. So that's the hydraulic brake control? That's the pump. Yeah. The pump. Oh, okay. When you hit your brake controller, then it activates the pump and then it pumps all the fluid to the brakes. You know, that one looks a little bent, that always, axle. They are. They, really? They pre-bend them so that when you put the weight, <clears throat> the center goes up in the middle, like we pre-camber them. So when the weight goes on the tires, it doesn't go the other way. Okay. We, we camber chassis the same thing. We, we bend them up a little bit. <clears throat> so when the weight of the box goes on, it comes back level. Okay. You have to put camber and things or else <clears throat> your tires will be leaning with the weight on them if you didn't, so. Okay. Oh, that's it's interesting. It's part of the plan. Good deal. <laughs> spend a lot of time on our knees <laughs> yeah the knee pads are uh, a it's knee nothing. saver huh I think you just turned my RV into a mobile home <laughs> we got a bonding here so what I like to do the outside hangers add a big bracket to make it stronger this hanger needs to replace it you know, right but also I need to add it a big bracket but it goes on the inside and strengthens it. But we have okay. this morning. Is it this it, is already cut? Is it that lighting? Is that the strip? That's just for the underbody. Oh. The whole underbelly. It's a piece of aluminum, yeah. right? Like this piece. Oh, right I see. Okay. Those guys took this piece and bent it back when they put the fix that one. We gotta do the same thing. We gotta take a little piece off in order to get our our, our gust to go in there. Okay. It, it right. It holds that. Uh, right. Are these? injectable grease ones as well or is it uh yep okay yeah, they have a greaser on the inside of them it's gotta be careful not to put too much in it push the grease still out on the back you put too much that's what i keep hearing uh that's a common issue yeah so. they get too much grease in it just it'll pop out that rear seal mm -hmm. How often do you recommend either repacking or adding grease? My, my guess is like 12,000 miles in between that. <laughs> yeah, with all the things that can go wrong with an RV, it's like, you know, when something can be done right, replaced not, properly, I mean, that is the fact. Hanger right there. Run out of room for extra stuff, huh? I mean, once you got fluid in, you're probably never gonna have to add fluid. Okay. I mean, uh, on on vehicles, you see your brake fluid getting low, but that usually just means that your your brake pads are worn out. Okay. I tell my daughters, I said, don't ever put brake fluid in because it means your brakes are wore out. So once you push the calipers back in, it will overflow. Gotcha. So we probably will never a good really tip. have to add fluid unless something broke. You know? Disc brakes last a long time then? Oh, yeah. Especially when you get six of them. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I love that system. Yeah, it's really good. I got that system on my trailer. Ain't no room in there. No, you got to pull that. <laughs> yeah, that's one thing with this model. I've got very little underneath storage. Outside ones get the most abuse. Typically, when you back up, okay. When you put the stress and all that. Yeah, um, somebody mentioned the back tires get 
get I just, the... I just fixed a trailer in Salt Lake <clears throat> that both of the center axle hangers went like that. Yep. Oh, wow. Yeah, that was one question I had. Uh, we keep hearing when you get, like, bad tire wear that the factories don't, like, align tires at all? You or really can't align them. Okay. So how do you how do you make sure it's all on straight? The chassis has to be square. Okay. It has to be built square. If everything's square, then everything should be fine. Unless, I mean, if you take too tight of a corner or something and you run over a curb and you put all that weight on one tire, you can actually bend the spindle on the axle. Yep. You put all that weight on one on one tire. Okay. Right. So going over curbs in or out or whatever is a bad thing to do. So I should stop doing that. Absolutely. I'm just kidding. <laughs> but I mean, and then pivoting, <clears throat> like, it, it, you need to be rolling at a decent clip before you start turning because it puts all that side pressure on the tires. If you just if you hooked up at 90 degrees and pulled out of here, you could, right? But it just puts so much stress. Oh, on. Right. I've had to do that once at turn Turning around. Dirt, and, no problem. But when you're on pavement, yeah, it kills you put a lot of stress. Yeah, I had to do that once not too long ago where I was supposedly going toward a, a low bridge and i had to turn around it ended up not being a low bridge but the sign said it was and i had to yeah the, like the middle tire was jumping you know yeah, especially so. triple axle it's even worse yeah you, you can wash the rubber on the tires they just lean you guys don't need to go to the gym today later then huh <laughs> no <laughs> i didn't go yesterday either <laughs> <laughs> a good spot for it out of the way <laughs> easy to get to so they fit yeah <laughs> that's good oh nice yeah <laughs> Might have to sell that idea to Grand Design for more storage. We just bought an extra, what, uh, cubic foot of uh, storage. Yeah. Looking good. Thanks. Coming together okay? Yep. Good deal. Comes into the propane area right here. And right down there. Trailer brake actuator. So I can add fluid if I need to, but I'm told I shouldn't have to. Sounds like you're making a lot of headway. <laughs> I'm making a lot of noise and nothing else. <laughs> are parts starting to get easier to get now at all? Yeah, or is it getting more? dying. Oh yeah, it's still yeah. just as bad? They're having to reduce production. <clears throat> they try to keep their numbers per day the same and then drop days per week. I see. Right, keep your production rate. But yeah, there's shortages of material everywhere. Huh. They were shipping used with no air conditioners on for months. Send the air conditioner to the dealer and let them put them on, paying for them to do it just to get them out of their yard. Okay, I heard about that. Yeah, we're building without entry doors all week last week. <clears throat> <laughs> oh my gosh. Horrible. Really horrible. Just as demand is going up. <laughs> yeah, I mean, once the pandemic hit, RVs went skyrocketed. Right. You know? Yeah, everybody wants one. Well, I mean, think about it, it's safe. Yeah. You're out here, who are you around? You know? Oh, yeah. It's a perfect place to be. <laughs> yeah, totally. You just luck out with that license plate, KRV. This was this was 90 bucks. Oh, man. I hope you get to expense that. It is. We're paying for it. <laughs> All right. Well, we can't thank you enough for coming out here and doing this. And say goodbye to old axles. Oh, I oh my, see. Goodbye. You're using the ocean brake to uh to bleed it. <laughs> I'm just giving it 12 volts. I have to. I'm not hooked to your truck. Time. That's Go funny. We gotta bleed all the air bubbles out. Can you open it? So I need to get used hey. to having like a possible half a second. One second delay, huh? Yeah, but you probably won't experience it too much. You know, you'll get used to it.
Huh. And they said like if you're normally running near brake control or about <clears throat> where do you normally run that? Do you know number wise? Well, you know, I think I might have it on full yeah. right now. So if you're running eight or nine or ten, you'll back off at least two or three numbers with the system. I, I was thinking that that I would they definitely said when you have start to. out run mid range. Start okay. in the middle, like go if it's ten is then go five and start it at five and then adjust it accordingly. Go up, okay. go up as you need. That's good to know. <clears throat> I have it full just a little bit above that, that lid cap. So when the fluid starts going down and all this when your brakes start wearing, this little plunger is gonna start coming out. Okay. So, so if it's all the way out, that means your fluid's gonna be down a little bit. So it's just something that you don't have to check it very often, but that's a good sign. Yep. <laughs> About ready for the test, huh? Yep. <laughs> Make sure everything works good. Good deal. Is it necessary to re-torque these after so many miles? Yes. <laughs> okay. You have a torque wrench with you? I think I do, actually. Yeah, they should... They usually put a sticker on the side. It says torque them. I usually run them like 80 to 100 pounds. Do it, when they're first, brand new, you put them on like 50 miles, then 100 miles, then 500 miles, and they should be good. Oh, okay. You don't usually change too much. I've got to get it into the... the wheels used to fall off all the time when they first started making them. They finally figured out how to do the bevel on the wheels where they didn't come loose. But they were bad when they first came out in the 80s and 90s. Oof. Really? Horrible. Wow. So now it's time for the test? Let's do it. All right. It <laughs> Testing brakes in the mountains. <laughs> what? There's not really a better place to test them, huh? That's for sure. <laughs> Time to test out the brand new brakes and axles. <laughs> Cross our fingers. So before we do this test drive, I've got to adjust the brake control, I think I have it on max right now with the older brakes. We're gonna put it at 50% to test it out. Okay, actually it wasn't at max, it was at 7.5. So we'll put it at, we'll put it at five right there. Well, that's a change right there, just doing the, uh, tug test so first change i noticed was doing the tug test safety test and with the old brakes i had like maybe six inches of movement before they kicked in mm -hmm. this one there's like nothing yeah it won't it, it compresses yeah. those calipers it's, it's not just locked in so that's that's the first good sign you hear the pump Yeah. Okay. Yeah, definitely sure hear it. So, safety tug test is good. Always get the, the other left. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, your other left. Right? That, that would be. Cool. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, and I think you can kind of, yeah, kind of look, look side both. to side. Yeah, well, I guess it's time to rock and roll, huh? Let's get it. That's not too bad. I mean, I probably could increase it a little bit, maybe. Whatever. And the brakes probably need to break in a little bit, too, into the rotors a little bit. So, just, you know, turn it up as, I guess, it's kind of on the fly, I can just yeah. decide. Maybe we'll go up to... I'll go up to six. Try another test here. Oh, that definitely stopped better. Yeah. 
Yeah, I guess you want to avoid that, like, it, like it where it grabs you and yanks you back. <laughs> yeah, you'd, you'd like it to be everything at the one time. Truck and trailer equal, stop in, in unison. It feels good to me, and I'm not even driving. <laughs> I see people towing trailers behind their fifth wheels and travel trailers, and I'm like, no, don't do that. Oh, yeah, the triple tow? It's yeah. the worst thing you can do to your travel trailer because it's not designed to do that. I mean, there's a couple of manufacturers I think that actually do build them that you know they say okay, you can put a boat behind it or something. They don't have very much tongue weight, but okay, um, you see guys hauling four wheelers and snow machines and all that stuff. Like, yeah, no, no, big no, no, long no, no, no. trailers full of toys and it'll it'll tear the box apart on these trailers. It's not designed. For okay, it. well that's I'm glad you shared that because people all the time on our channel will say. Why don't you ride together? Why don't you, you know, tow the Jeep? <laughs> I wouldn't tow that Jeep behind. I mean, a, 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 a hitch on a vehicle like that, there really is no, no tongue weight, right? It's just, it just has a front hitch that pivots, right? So it doesn't put a whole bunch of weight on it, but it's just that pushing and pulling. I'm more worried about the tongue weight pushing down on the bumper. Oh, okay. That's like our alone time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when you spend 24-7 together and you're working together, you know, travel days are are, are alone time. So get to miss each other for a few hours. <laughs> yeah. But you got walkie-talkies and stuff too, right? Right. And Sheree doesn't even like that. She, she like, <laughs> if she wants her alone time, she just shuts the walkie-talkie <laughs> off. <laughs> you're waving your hand out the window. Hey. <laughs> yeah. So will it, there'll be like some a breaking in? Yeah, uh, make a few quick stops with it. It helps burn in the brake shoes a little bit. And the F450s, pretty, right? Pretty stout. Oh yeah, this is. I mean, I, I love the mountains and traveling around the mountains. You get cars and whatever pulling in front of you, slowing down really quickly, and the big so. trucks try to teach those cars lessons. <laughs> they do. Yeah. You cut one of them off, you're going to know it. Oh, yeah. It was a pleasure working with you. Yeah, thanks, Casey. Yeah, really, really appreciate uh, you and Paul Lynn coming and, you know, working hard. Not an easy job. No, it's not the hardest one we've done. <laughs> I bet. In one of these, if you miss your turn, <laughs> sometimes you're going for a long ways to find a spot to turn around. And Google Maps isn't always the best way to travel, is it? Oh, no. We use the RV Life uh, RV Trip Wizard app. Okay. And right on there, you can enter the length of your uh, rig all together. You can uh, enter your height, which oh, is the most important. Yeah. So you don't get diverted down those, uh, you know, sketchy roads. Yeah, these things aren't really made for off-roading very well. Right, <laughs> we we get reminded that all the time. Like it's too big of an RV. <laughs> Your shipping container on wheels. <laughs> yeah. I mean... That's a big socket. <laughs> yeah. We need them. <laughs> Big sockets for big RVs. So how was it? Awesome. It's yeah? night and day difference. Had to back down the brake control to about half. Wow. And now, I mean, it's just like, you don't even know the trailer's there. Uh, and even going downhill full speed, it's like, it'll stop. I might have to ba back off of the brake control a little bit wow, so cool. yeah it's so it's, super like responsive it is nice it, it's yeah it won't feel like it's pushing you down the road anymore nice. i'm happy that yeah happy yeah that. yeah thanks guys I yeah really working out in this it. heat too yeah thank you that's, that's good. Good. Got yeah, some warm good. days <laughs> good how's your how's your finger doing please don't good. look at me okay <laughs> i'm good, it, 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 I'm good. It beats, beats working at a factory <laughs> yes, I'd rather be out yeah. in the outdoors. Yeah, <laughs> and it's beautiful here too. Yeah. Oh man. Nice fresh air. Yeah. yeah. That's still green yeah, right now. Totally. Still green. That's, <laughs> that's the first time we're working together, and then it was my pleasure working with you. Yes, thank you too. Awesome. Yeah. Nice. He's from Idaho, from California. 
So oh. I'm from California too, but I moved to Idaho. Hey, mom. <laughs> so you both traveled from different directions yeah. to get here. Oh, cool. Well, we really appreciate it. And we've it. always had great experience with uh, Lippert Tech that show up to, uh, to do stuff. Oh, yeah. On the spot. Great job. Even with our last RV. Yep. Yeah. They drove all the way up to a remote area where we were in Minnesota, in Minnesota. and yeah. worked on the RV right yeah, there. Yeah, work on the kingpin, yeah. had, had some give in it, so had to do a bunch of welding. Yeah, they sent them out pretty quick too, so was, they, don't move, nice. don't yeah. move. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, whatever you do, don't move your RV till we get there. Don't move, Lipper to the rescue. <laughs> yes. You have capes, you wearing capes? Sometimes. <laughs> Probably a lot yeah. of MacGyvering. My oldest son used to think I was Superman when he was this tall. <laughs> well, we think you're Superman now, so you haven't lost that title. Yeah. <laughs>